Okay, I am done. I'm sorry that I keep changing you guys, but when I went to go pick up my baby from school, it was extremely hot. So I was like, you know what? Oh no, I have to change again after taking a shower. Okay, so um, a lot of people think that I'm crazy because I get a blade, you know, like the eyebrow shaper, and I hold my hair and I cut my hair off. The reason why I do that, you guys, is because, like, this is just really my edges. My hair is natural. It's very thick, so I don't care. But I do that so that I just have a little piece to cover the track because I hate when my hair is real long and blends in with the weave, and then I got to, well, it don't blend in with the weave. That's why I cut it because it doesn't blend, and then I have it, like, you can just tell my hair from the weave, and I just don't like that, especially with me. I have in a perm so um I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron it and wear it straight but before I do that I am going to um first of all show you guys hands down the best thing that I like to tame any type of weave with I'm looking for the back piece I can't find it but anyway it doesn't matter this um thing is called the tangle brush this is what I love this it combs out your real hair natural hair weave all that good stuff of course, it wants to get stuck, though, because I'm on a video now. Um, I'm going to use my small, small flat iron to tame this edges. And this is almost empty. I have just that little corner in there. But usually what I do is just put a little bit of this on my edges. And then I flat iron it just to kind of protect it from the heat. And um, for those of you, it smells real good. It works real good. This bottle I've had for like about three, four months, probably four months, and I use it on my clients. It lasts a long time. It's um Brazilian Tech Keratin Treatment. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. Here's a close-up. You screenshot it, do whatever you need to do, but you should get it because it works really good. It lasts. It has a wonderful fragrance and all that good stuff. So, um, I'm not going to show you guys, like, on camera everything. I just want you guys to kind of get a feel to see, for those of you who want to know how it flat irons and stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, now I already have some of the, um, the oil on here, so that's why it looks a little whatever. But I had to because I'm, I, the, the color is so light. Like I said, you guys can't see it, but by the color being so light, I felt like it looked dry. So, but the flat iron is really, really nice. Like, really, 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 really nice. Um, another thing with this hair is the fact that. I really like for my hair to be thin on the ends, and I like for it to be thick to the top, but this hair is total opposite. Oh, God. This really flat ironed really, really nice, and I didn't even really, like, try. I just put the iron to it. Um, while I'm talking, I guess I'll go ahead and do another piece, but um, what was I going to say to you guys? Oh, yeah, this hair is so thick to the bottom. It's like, I don't like that. I hate it when it's thin to the top. It's so, so, so thick to the bottom. Like, it's extremely thick at the bottom. And I'm just going to leave it because whatever. But, um, I mean, I'll come back and do an update on this hair. But based on right now, if I had to tell somebody, oh, yeah, I'll buy this hair again, I don't think I would buy it because of the simple fact of how it is with being so thin to the top and so thick to the bottom. That that I don't like at all. It's just so thick down here to the bottom. This is 24 inch once again. It's my flat iron is really good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And it's feather light once it flat irons. It has a lot of body. So um, I'm going to go ahead back off camera. This is going to be a long video. I'm telling you now. I'm going to probably have to go ahead and skip some parts or whatever. And this is so short. Like I barely even need to do anything to it. That's just all I have to do. I always just keep it long enough so I can put the iron to it. That's it. I do not light my leave out. Y'all saw me jump just now. I just burnt myself. And with this method too, I think I'm going to call this 
the Pooks Girl pushback method because before I go, let me show you guys. Because when I come back, I'm going to come back with it totally done. Look at this. I can get a nice, smooth ponytail. You see this? A nice, smooth ponytail. I need to... I don't know what's going on with this hair. I need to have a flat iron it or curl it. But I can get a nice, smooth ponytail. Obviously, I could wear it. Wear it. Part, part it. You know, I have to fix that, but... I can wear it partly on that side. Um, I think I can wear it partly to this other side too. Let me see. Let's see. Because if so, boy, I probably done created another way to do a versatile sewing without even knowing it. Looks like I could. I'll have to fix. Fix it. But... It's a good movie on and I'm missing it. I think with me fixing it, I could shift that part again with fixing it. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. I'm not all that sure. But shoot, long as I can wear it in a ponytail, you know, and long as I have it to my side, which is my favorite side over here, I'm good. I'm good. It's very tight right now. It hurts a little bit, but... Okay, I'll be back, you guys. Let me go ahead and flat iron it. Oh, yeah, and another thing. It sheds a little bit. Like, these are like, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you see that? That's like three or four strings. No bueno. Not for me. I won't have that. Don't shed at all, but whatever. All right, be back.